Hello, it's Kei, and I'm a pro trader as well as a mentor based in Tokyo, Japan.、Uh, this time, I wanted to talk about what it is to be a pro Forex trader because I see sometimes people join the world of Forex just like doing other jobs but still wanting to make money. But today, I want to think about something. For example, do you think you can win over a champion of a chess in the world? Of course not, right? Or do you think you can dance like a pro skater? No, right? Or you go onto a field of pro boxing and when you fight with a real pro boxer and when he fights for real against you, can you keep standing for even one minute? I think you're gonna be dead, right? Or you cannot hit a ball against a professional pitcher on the baseball. But when it comes to investing, people misunderstand the fact somehow, you know. Without the experience and study, they just jump into the market. And when you think about it, this is a very rare type of job. You know, a beginner just opens up an account, and without studying or experiencing anything,、uh, you can they can just open up, jump into the market, whether it's a forex or cryptocurrency or stocks or whatever investment it is. You know, those who never have any experience on investing. They just open up an account with a broker and start trading because they think it's a piece of cake. But for those who start trading like that, to me, it's like you just go out on the field of baseball and start playing with all the professional players in NBA without having any experience beforehand, thinking that you can still play with them. And I wonder why people think investment is so easy. And I think one of the reasons is that it's because the actions are so easy. You know, to place an order and exit, they are so simple. You just click the button and you can just execute buy or sell. And if you're thinking it's easy, then you need to stop and think about something. Because this is actually what I thought myself when I first started.、Uh, well, I was studying Forex seriously one by one, you know, for all the technical tools and price actions and the relationship to the news. And everything. But at the same time,、uh, there were times when I, about, when I was about to misunderstand things. You know, when I got a big amount of profit in a short period of time, I almost misunderstood that the forex is just a piece of cake. But I also had an experience when I blew up all the money that I've gained from the market. And that was a timing when I really woke up from the illusion. And that was also a timing when I realized that why people can think. They can still play baseball with the pros who have been playing in major leagues. And I have been running my own company and I have an experience of what it is to work myself in my previous career. So, in that sense, I'm not a total beginner in investing. But Forex is basically just, just the same as business, you know, buying cheap and selling high. That's the fundamental principle as well as psychology involved in any business. So basically, if you never experience in investing or anything that's related to any businesses,、uh, remember that you have some disadvantage, first of all. And this is one of the professions. Therefore, it requires studying. You know, you need to learn the principle and actually experience it and gain wisdom. And I'm warning do not skip the process and just jump into the market. This is very important because if you don't understand this, You will be just too brave without knowing the risk in reality. Some people say investment is easy, like I see those ads on the webpage or ads in town or even in seminars, you know. It usually says investment is easy because you just place a position or run robots and just leave it. Then it brings you money, right? Just like an automatic money maker or something. But if you believe those sweet words, Sooner or later, you will be in huge trouble. It's like you are forced by someone to stand right in front of Mike Tyson and fight against him. What happens then? You will get killed, right? If you are not trained well, you will get some brain damage or maybe you lose your eyesight. So just realize yourself that you just stepped into a battlefield and realize that you are doing that kind of dangerous sport. So, I highly recommend you to keep studying with that spirit in your heart. You know, the word hedge fund or fund manager sounds so cool, you know? Sounds so intelligent and professional or market analyst. But to me, they are nothing. 
And I'm not making fun of them, but why I think they're nothing is because they are not running their own money. This is something I believe as an individual pro trader, but from the moment you start running your own money, everything, you know, from the moment you start to run all your money, you will get serious for real. Because when you think about it, no matter how bad the outcome is as a fund manager, they won't lose their money, right? They might lose their job when their performance is low over time, but every time they trade or every time they write forecast on the market, is there a risk of losing money to them? No, right? They get paid every month by doing what they are required to do by the company. But it doesn't mean that it makes them better on investment. So what makes you better on investing? The answer is by trading by your own money. So like Warren Buffett or Joy Solos, right? They run their own fund, like Quantum Fund or Berkshire Hathaway, and they put all their money, like they put 99% of what they have into investment. And that's why they have better result with high profit because they keep learning from their own experience by investing their own money. Also, why traders who run their own money, their own capital gets better and better at trading over time is because this is a job that get paid by success. When you think about it, in normal job, you get paid by doing something, some required tasks from someone. For example, if you are a waiter or at a restaurant, you get paid for how long you have been working, right? And also how much task you did in your responsibility. Or if your job is to create something, then you get paid according to how many items you created. Like when you create like thousand of items, then you get paid like hundred dollars, things like that. And it's a normal common concept of what it is to be paid when you have a job. However, in the world of investing, and if you want a success in investment, you need to switch your mindset from those ordinary jobs because how it's paid is only when you are right and it's not paid by what you did, you know. No matter how many times you buy and sell, it doesn't relate to your pay, but you will get money when you did the right deal. So this is also something I always think uh, ever since I started trading, but uh, even when you stick with the chart for the past three hours, for example, you might get nothing. But in contrast, you watch the market just for the past five minutes, judge things, make decisions, and you might get paid $10,000 as a result. So you shouldn't regard the investment like you have been in your ordinary jobs because, like I said, you will get paid only when you are right. And the result is everything in this job. And let me tell you something. Process is fun for anyone. As you keep studying, you get more knowledge. But when it comes to trading, the assessment and evaluation is all based on the result. And when you don't have a mindset of starting from your own mistakes, you can never survive on the market. Why? Because when people lose their money, they get shocked and they just quit it. And I believe when you quit on anything, that's the end. I mean, it's the end of the learning process and also it's the end of your success. And even I say that's the end, people still quit it. So interesting. And I think they don't know what life is all about because this is not about investment on any jobs or on any businesses you do. When you quit, then that's it. That's the end. Earlier I quit working for a company and that's good because to me, quitting something means I never come back whatsoever. So if you want to stop trading or investing forever, that's okay because you've come to find the answer why you should quit investing, right? So in that case, it's okay. But what I want to say is don't just quit just because you lose your money or just because you found another good information that may bring money to you. Because when you keep having that kind of mindset, you will never get to where you wish to be because all you're looking for is a holy grail. So I just wanted you to remember that you are in the hard sports called Forex where people are fighting against each other and not only that, you will get paid when you are right, not by watching the chart 24 hours. And with that in mind, find what you need to study so that you can be right because it also brings you infinite amount of money that you will never be able to earn on any other jobs in the future. Alright, that's it. 
If you like this video, please press the good button. And I've been uploading educational Forex videos on Mondays and Thursdays and doing live streamings on Tuesdays and Fridays. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notification when they are uploaded or announced. Alright, always stay gold and cheers.